So I've got to review this $249 mower from Audi for turf and tools. And my boss said, if I don't get one, if I don't get the review, I lose my job. So I'm gonna sleep overnight, make sure I'm first in line for the Audi Best Buys for Saturday. It was a rough night. Old lady stole my sleeping bag, but we're here first in line. We're gonna get this mower. 18 minutes till opening time. I'm already over this. Unfortunately, I went for a bathroom break and uh, someone slipped in front of me and uh, I did hit him up. He is here for the lawnmower. So if there's only one, we're gonna be in a bit of trouble. Oh. I guess this is where you gotta run. <laughs> you want to tilt it up? Okay, so we got this thing home. I will show you some real-time footage of this cutting some reasonably thick grass at the end. There's no point me just talking about it. I might as well show it in action. So make sure you stick around for that real-time footage at the end. So they call this the 20-inch Ferex petrol lawnmower. It's a single-speed self-propelled mower. Now it has three cutting options. You can go straight to the 60-litre bag. Side discharge, which is handy when grass is a bit longer. Just shoot straight out there. And your final cutting option, which is mulching, comes with the mulch plug. Oop. Okay, I don't think I've put a mulch plug through the chute before, but is that upside down? Sits in there, and it will cut anywhere from 25 mils up to up to 75 mils. Is that meant to happen? Now, I don't know how hard you can be on this mower. It's $249 for a self-propelled mower. That's ridiculously cheap. So if you place value solely on price, um, as long as this thing cuts grass, which it does, it's a pass. So if you wanted to know, does this mower cut grass, you can basically end it here. Yes, it does. Whether you should buy it, that's another story. Now, obviously at that price, nothing is gonna be premium on it. The thing I hate the absolute most about this mower are the cheapest wheels ever. They look cheap, they feel cheap, they sound cheap going along the ground. Something as simple as some softer rubber tread on these wheels, which are the thing that are in contact with the ground and gives you the most feedback, would have gone a long way to making this mower not feel as cheap as it does. But right away, these wheels make it feel terrible because the wheels are so terrible and the tread is so terrible. Uh, it's quite easy to induce wheel spinning when you engage the drive, particularly if that grass is a bit spongier. Now, if you like doing burnouts, that might not be the end of the world for you. <laughs> Now yeah, we're obviously on a very smooth surface here, but you could see the very limited pressure that I had to put on that. So I don't know if you can tell, but I'm not a fan of the wheels. It's a single speed self-propelled mower. Uh, for me, speed is a little bit slow. That's always gonna be a problem with a single speed self-propelled mower. Uh, you're never gonna make everyone happy. How does the mower cut? Cuts the grass. I'm yet to encounter a mower that hasn't cut the grass. Um, it doesn't bag terribly well, leaves a fair bit left behind. The bag design isn't spectacular. It's very hard to take it off without spilling a whole heap of clippings here. I also noticed it was hard to fill it over sort of two thirds of the bag before it was just dropping clippings. Now the mounts for the bag are plastic. How long are they going to last? I don't know. The chute in this thing is very, very small. Now I haven't had a chance to mow in wet, wet grass, uh, but I imagine it would clog quite easily. Surprisingly though, it didn't clog once in some thick and luscious uh, buffalo. I cut yesterday so that's definitely positive the steel deck mower obviously not the thickest steel you're ever going to see completely lightweight it's only 28 and a half kilos which for a 20 inch self-propelled mower is very light the deck does come with a wash port that you can attach your hose to to wash out underneath the deck which is handy the handlebars and controls are quite straightforward very easy to operate we've got a safety bail here so you need to hold that to start the mower uh, once you want to engage drive just pull this rear bail and you're away so very simple controls I haven't had an issue with those at all. It's got some uh, soft touch foam up the top here, maybe reduces a little bit of the vibration. I imagine the motor's probably a little bit harsh, but feels comfortable enough. Handlebars don't feel too bad. It's it's not the uh, worst handlebars I've ever seen, but, but these quick release levers are made of a plastic that feels very brittle. If it was left out in the sun for a while, I'm not sure how that would go over a long period of time. They just feel like they want to break. And again, that's just a, I'm not saying they're going to, but it's just, they feel cheap. Again, mower is cheap, understand that completely. This is a brand new mower, but starting it up, it's been sort of first or second pull most times. It tells you to prime it three times. This has been a little bit of thought in it. There is a, a front handle, which helps with transport. But look, you, you get what you pay for. It's a $249 self-propelled petrol mower. And if that price point enables someone to get into the market, 
uh, and maintain their lawn, that's a good thing. What I fear with this mower is that the kind of person that's gonna buy this is not gonna be into their lawns. Um, it may be used once a month, once every couple of months or whatever, uh, and that's where it's probably going to struggle. Now, this machine comes with a three-year warranty. Also comes with a hotline number if you've got issues with assembly or operation of the product. Um, I did call that number about an hour ago and just had to leave a message. Haven't heard anything back. Now, on that same card, it says, if you're looking for spare parts, please visit our website. I went to look at the website and couldn't find this actual mower on there. The closest mower that I found um, to this one had a listing for five parts, one of which were blades, a blade supporting disc, carburetor priming assembly, blade disc supporting piece, and these are retaining brackets. So what happens if you break a catcher or something? I don't know. I assume that most people buying this will be buying it with the mindset of I'll use it till it breaks. And if that's you, good luck to you at $249. It's Hard to go wrong financially with it. Would I buy one? No. I enjoy my mowing and I like nice things. Maybe we can do a follow up on this video. If you're in Western Sydney and you wanna be a long term tester of this thing for turf and tools, shout out to me, let me know. I'll bring it to your place. You can put it to the test for a few months and we can see what it's like after that. Anyway, here's some real time video of it mowing. Hopefully this has been somewhat helpful to you.